My name is Wayne Anderson, number 13, free safety and running back. Uh, my name is uh, Michael Rick, I'm number 27. Uh, I play running back and outside linebacker. Cole Zaff, number five, strong safety, outside linebacker and swing back. Um, Kenny Costello, number 43, play running back, corner back, and kick returner. Hi, I'm Connor Buller. I'm the punter for Downtown West, and I'm number 81. My name is Drew Arnold, number 60, and I am a nose guard. Uh, David Jorgensen, number six, tight end. I'm Jake Leonard, number 58, guard. The way I feel when I put my jersey on is um, excited. Ready to make a play, ready to make the uh, student section go crazy, crowd go crazy. Play for my brothers, always. Always play for my brothers. Always got their back no matter what. When I put that downtown West jersey, um, I feel like I'm representing this whole town. As a player um, and as a person, uh, it's just, I get a little extra boost of confidence and I just, I feel, uh, I feel great. I feel, like, I feel like I could do anything when I put that jersey on. It's definitely a lot of pride and you definitely feel like you're respected because you're downtown west, the colors, everything about it. It's just an awesome feeling. Everyone looks at me. You also have a target on your back too. Like everyone looks up to you, but then you have a target on your back because you're downtown west. But now it's undescribable. Makes you feel like you mean something. It makes you, like, makes you feel special. That like everybody looks up to you. You become like a poster board of the school. When you put the jersey on, it feels like you're part of a team, you're part of something bigger than yourself. Um, just feels like you're representing your school, your community. There's no, no better feeling than running out on the field with that jersey on in front of 8,000 fans cheering you on. Uh, running onto the field with a Downingtown West jersey is amazing. It's no better feeling in the world. I love it. Advice for the underclassmen to be to just always give it your all and work hard in the weight room in the off season. It ends so quick, you blink and it's over. Cherish everything, cherish every moment, always go hard 100%, 100 miles an hour. If you make mistakes, make them full speed. Um, play with pride, play with your heart. It gets you far. And always be a leader, always be a leader. My advice to the underclassmen would be to take advantage of every opportunity. Because when you get done with everything, when you get done your last play on the field, you don't want to have any regrets. Um, you don't know when that last play is going to come. Uh, mine came. Uh, against Henderson, and when that happens, you don't want to have you don't want to have any regrets. You don't want to you don't want to have any feelings that oh, what could I have done? You know what I mean? Um, so yeah, just take advantage of every opportunity. Just have fun. You don't want to be too tense. This uh, you don't you don't get this chance again uh, to play with your brothers. So just have fun and take advantage of every opportunity. My advice to the underclassmen are always play every play like it's your last. It took me until the last two games of the season to realize that that this could be my only last two games left and. Got to push it all out there. You never know when your last play is going to be. My advice for the underclassmen would be to uh, just enjoy your time. Enjoy the practices, enjoy the games, and enjoy when you get on the field. Don't stress too much. Just uh, make sure you leave nothing, nothing out on the field. Make sure you give it everything you got. Always be proud of your last play. Uh, my advice to underclassmen would be to never take any plays off and don't wish away your playing time because it goes by really fast and it'll be gone before you know it. My advice to underclassmen would be to Trust your brothers and work hard because without your brothers, you're not going to make it very far. I would do anything to get one more moment um, to get out on that field because it's just, it, it, it's, it really sucks. Um, I missed a good portion of my junior year. Um, I was getting recovered and then it happened again, um, senior year. So I would do anything to get back on that field with my teammates and just play one more play. Just, it's not a better feeling. You go out on that field, your brothers have your back, you're just out there flying around making plays and having fun. It's not, there's no better feeling, so I wouldn't give anything. A lot. Um, and it feels like it all just went so quick. I mean, last night, I barely remember any of it. It all went so quick. It just flew by, and I don't know, I wish it could start all over. I would play every down like it was my last, every last game, every second, every minute, until that clock hit zero, I'd just give it all. I would give, my, I would give anything. Like, I'd do anything to be out there again. I'd give up anything to play for Downtown West again. I'd give up anywhere, anything that I've gotten, any accomplishments that I already have. I'd give up anything. I would give a limb probably. Something something <laughs> drastic. Um, just because this is this is where I've always been. I've always been a whippet from four years old to eighteen. So this is this is my life. This is what now it's time to do bigger and better things. I would give anything to be back there. Just, just anything.
give my house, give my car, give you all the money, even though I only have $16, I'd give you anything. I, I would give anything to be out on that field one more time. Uh, I'd give anything to play another game. Uh, no better feeling in the world.